Hey everybody, in this video we're going to react to Adrian 1996's pretty incredible 3100 BC victory, domination victory with the Zulu. This is the sort of thing that would require about 10,000 resets in order to achieve. So let's see how we did it. Uh, I know I've tried this myself and I think the best I ever got was 2900. It requires skill, but also quite a lot of luck. Uh, you're going to need the right map. You're going to need capitals that are very close. You're going to need to hit uh, villages and natural wonders that give you free gold. Uh, so let's check it out real quick. Go through it, and then uh, I'll just provide some commentary, some thoughts along the way. So let's check it out. Uh, these are not predetermined maps. Of course, we always do random maps. You could do predetermined maps, but it's a little bit easier doing it that way. Game of the week is a good format for that. So it starts out, finds a villager hut right away. And he decides to plant right there, which is interesting because he has no trees whatsoever. And he just flips it to gold right away. And he's off to the races. Sights some barbarians and another friendly hut and you can see the romans from the hill and cities of gold i'm curious if you'll even have time to get that picks up a natural wonder on the grassland tile now it's only 3800 bc two turns into the game you should be able to wipe that out pretty easily wiping out the first one or two capitals is pretty easy. It just becomes... It becomes quite difficult to wipe out the last two efficiently. If you can get walk-in... If you can get walk-ins, that's probably the best way to do it. You could probably get three walk-ins. If you got really lucky, four walk-ins would be almost impossible. You would... I think it is possible, but... I think you would need map knowledge or just godly guessing. This is going to be a walk-in. I wonder if he's going... Is he going to sell the warrior? Or he's going to decide to build things. Okay. And he's exploring with a caravan. Caravan helps a lot at this stage of the game. You don't get the money right away, but you can do some additional exploring. And at this point, trying to determine what would be the best direction from here. So only three left, and we're on turn four, 3600 BC, so we have to wipe out three more in just a handful of turns. Picks up another natural wonder, and we've sighted Thebes. That's going to be tough. How is he going to get a warrior all the way down there? That's... That's certainly going to be a challenge. Picks up a lot more gold. That will help a lot. Yeah, it's time to pump out some more warriors. I'm curious if he's going to sell that warrior up in Rome. What's he going to do? Rush a galley? And he rushes the galley. He's going to pick up some more gold here. And he decides to keep the warrior for now. Wow, switches governments? Why? I'm not quite sure why. Why would you switch to Republic at this stage? We'll find out, I suppose. I can't imagine why, to be honest. And that's going to help. He has discovered the Aztecs. Is he going to build a road? Oh. Picks up 200 gold. Now, by changing governments... Oh, boy. What's this? Huh. <laughs> He's going to pick up a road. 
for 60 gold. Hey, Wayne. Interesting. And a spy. Oh, he may sell that. I can't figure why you would keep that at this point. But it looks like he's keeping it for now. We'll see what he does. What? Is he building? No, he's not going to build settlers, is he? He is? What? What is he doing? Interesting. Let's see what he does here. Looks like he's going to try to build a network of roads, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, now he's going to sell the spy. Pick up this hut. Or not. I have a meeting with Cleopatra. Decides to sell the caravan. Scopes out his empire. Careful. Builds another city and perhaps a road. Goes with what production? And looks for a secret mission for our spy. Computer likes to cheat and kidnap your units. You have to be super careful with your spies on Deity because units will just come out of nowhere. Often I'll only move in one space if I'm moving into territory that I don't have visibility on. The computer cheats relentlessly in this game. It has to because players are just too smart. It's too hard to program it in a way that is fair. Computer has to cheat. Pops out another settler. Establishes Umphalozi. And establishes diplomatic relations. Gives them code of laws. For a whole all five gold. It's a pretty good deal. I don't think, I think we're missing. There we go. Manages to reveal the location of the city. This is tough. He's going to have to figure this out rather quickly. <laughs> Can he sneak that warrior into the capital? I guess we'll find out. That would be nice. At this point, it branches. But that seems really difficult because it branches west and east. Thebes to the east and the capital to the west. I'm not sure how he's going to do that. That's going to be tricky. We'll see. Except another natural wonder that'll help. He must do this with a network of roads, but even then, I feel like it's going to be very difficult. Settlers must work out for him in the end. He really doesn't have much gold left. Only 60 gold at this point. Did I say the Zulu capital, though? I said that's a 10 off the tip line. Aztec capital. something here to the southwest. It looks like... What is that? I can't, couldn't quite make out who that was. Pick up another spy. 25 gold. Hmm. 
decides to position in the corner. Plants yet another city. Could possibly, hmm, that's gonna be tough to take. He has the Colossus. No money to take from the Egyptians. Building in the road all the way down. Nope, decides not to do it yet. They're gonna have to sell a spot here too. That's another 50 gold. We're up to 150 gold. Yeah, maybe time to sell these units. That warrior will be attacked next turn because there's so many. There's four barbarians in that hut. So he should be attacked twice next turn. And the road is built. He doesn't have it. He needs to build another one from Umphalozi, so we'll see what he does there. And he is going to build a galley. Wow. Interesting. This is quite a network. Decides to load the first warrior on the boat. Suppose the goal will be to build an army on that boat and then unload them on the next turn. That could work out. You may have to win an underdog victory here. Nope, just one warrior. Wow. Now what? I mean, he must have to take the Aztec capital as, an, <laughs> as a single warrior, but I don't know, that's really hard. Just decides to sell the warrior. Not going to buy them much at this point. Building one city, going for gold in the other. Doing some analysis how to execute on the next turn. We're already approaching, what was this, 3,300, so we're going to have to start wiping. Oh my goodness, look at this. <clears throat> so, it looks like he can just take the capital. Yep. They left the city and he was able to take it, so that that's one way to do it. Immediately sell the boat. Did he just build? No, I don't think he actually built the road. Okay, so that's Egypt and Rome down for the count. right next to a barbarian hut. I don't know that he'll have time to wipe that out unless he builds an army then routes them all down through a road, but that's going to be expensive. He only has 78 gold. Uh, looks like he wants to... Like they'll wipe out this barbarian hut. Okay, so we're dealing with the Germans here to the west. And he can also. I would run that caravan northeast and then west. Yep, no natural wonder. 
decides to sell it instead of giving them some gold to work with. Switches over to gold. He's up to a 17 gold per turn. Not that there's many turns left in this game. That may help them execute on the next turn. Deliver the finishing blow. We just have the Germans and the Aztecs. So I think you would have to wipe them out next turn for a 3100 victory because the, the victory is not declared until the next turn, until the turn ends. And then it says that's a, a victory in 3100. And apparently the game is not programmed to end before 3000 BC, so it actually forces the player to skip a turn until you get to 3000. The game can't end before 3000 BC, unless it's a... Uh, actually, yeah, in any case, no matter what. We'll see what happens. I don't think I've actually seen that happen, so I guess we'll see what happens here. Kind of surprising they wouldn't check every turn. It actually waits until a certain turn count for the game to end. the Germans emptied their city. That's incredible. Why did they do that? Alright. Take five gold. Why not? Let's run them over. It's all yours. Pick up him three more gold. So now all he has to do is figure out how to take out the Aztec capital on this turn. Hmm. <laughs> figure out something to do with our free settler. I'm sure it's consequential at all, but we'll see what we can do. Just decides to sell it. Only the Aztecs remain looking for a road. Build one for 90 gold. Will it matter? Doesn't build it. Considers the options. Hmm. Builds it for 90 gold. Nervously moving around. Doesn't want to make the wrong move here. Into the road the warrior can get into position. All the way across the map. And here he can form an army. He has a move with the other. So he's able to move the entire army since he has a fresh, fresh movement with the main warrior. had to build a pretty complicated network of roads in order to pull this off but that's that's pretty impressive you know i bet this is i don't even feel like this is an ideal map at all he did get a lot of good breaks with the villages and the huts and the natural wonders and the seven cities of gold but i think on certain maps you could i've seen maps that are much smaller than this but i suppose he did get a lot of good breaks with the 
seven cities of gold and did get enough brace. Don't need a perfect game. I guess now someone's gonna have to do it in 3200 BC. So he ends of the turn. It's over. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. So what does this say? It says it says 3000 BC. We saw it ended in 3100. The game can't even figure it out. The game did end in 3100. Impressive. Very cool. So yeah, uh, kudos. That's a pretty impressive run. I was I've never done that in the thousands of games I've played. Give it a try yourself. See how difficult it is. Even on the lowest difficulty, it's just a matter of building all of the roads and doing the logistics and getting people in position. That's really the hard part and having the skill and the luck to execute and complete a domination victory that soon is pretty impressive. So congratulations. That's really cool. And I uh, just thought I'd cover this and react and share this amazing accomplishment. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time.